Good morning all, Diary of a Goat Less here, Anna Maria, your host. Okay, where do I start? Aside from, I'm sorry that this update is so effing late. I mean, I, I'm personally hoping to try and get maybe an update done every other week kind of thing, but you know when it's you, yourself, and I kind of thing, and getting a hold of a camera person is not the easiest thing in the world, uh... Life's a bitch, but hey, you tried, am I right? Anywho, uh, like I said in the last episode, today's up... No, oh, they're so hungry. Actually, it's less that they're hungry, they're just really cold today. Hello! Anyway, today's update is going to be you guys get to meet the crew. As in, you all get... Uh, personal, individualized meetings of who everybody is. Anyway, um, I'm not sure how much of me is going to be on the screen, but I would really like for you guys to get to see these girls right up close. Oh, hello there, Dot. Hello. Oh, no, 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 you leave that alone. <laughs> little, little Miss Nibbles a lot here. Just tried to chew the microphone cord. Yeah, <laughs> hello. Okay, anyway, yeah. We may as well start with uh, goat number one. This is Dot. Now, she's... There really is no other word to describe her. She is just a little snuggle monster. She adores cuddles. As you can see, she's having fun trying to chew on my skirt and everything else. So, not so much chew, just nibble. Because there's, there's so many interesting textures on it. Really, you got nice taste in skirts. Let me help you. <laughs> okay, um, I'll get back to Dot in a moment. But... We got nine individuals to go through here. We got Billy Boy, the, the very handsome cream-colored one. That's my Billy. And he is with uh, what looks like Cece. She was the one who wasn't feeling good the other day, so I stuck her in the barn. And there's Dot, just being a camera hog. Chilly little goats. They're air-chilled for your convenience. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They're, they've got really, really good... Uh, sheltering over there. I stuff it right tight with everything imaginable. Only the finest oat straw for our goats. At Chateau du Chevron. Jeez, I'm not sure if that if I should keep that as just a joke or if I should turn that into a business name. I just had to get my glove on. Okay. Anyway, Cece? Let's take a look at that pretty face of yours. Oh yeah, there we go. Anyway, on um, the story behind her... Uh, we'll come up right away why she's got such a odd name, Cece. Okay, walking down the line here, we've got uh, Dusty, named so because she's got kind of this dirty color in her coat. You can see she's not pure white like the one next to her. Uh, 36C is her tag. Um, she's kind of one of the less friendly ones. She's just not crazy for being cuddled. I mean, she'll tolerate being handled, but it's not like she's so frisky you need... Uh, you need a hook or something to catch her with. Uh, next here is Tiptoe, or Tootsie. I'm kind of thinking I'll just stick with Tiptoe, because it's kind of funny. You watch her walk around, and she does, in fact, Tiptoe. It's just kind of funny. Her gait's a little on the goofy side. But as you can see, she's got four perfect brown toes. Nobody else has that. One, two, three, four. There's always at least some part, portion of white that separates any other color on her leg from her toes. So it's kind of cute, actually. And uh, here we've got BB. Now, uh, BB and CC. You'll take note. Um, they both have the same color pattern. So for a while, it was really, really hard for me to tell them apart. So um, I decided to go with the fact that her ID tag has a B in it. She's 62B. Uh, she was born 2014, and CC with a C in her tag was born 2015. So she's a nanny from last year. This one was a nanny from the year before last. And she just got this darling face. Nice big face. You're going to be a big goat later on, aren't you? Oh, this is your pretty face. But anyway, yeah, she's got that same linebacker stripe. And I'd originally thought of calling one of these two linebacker, but again, the problem was they're both almost identical to each other. So go with their tags to tell them apart. The only other trick to tell... Uh, BB apart from CC is CC has a white blaze on her face. BB just has a star on her face. That's really the only other way to tell. Now, this 
very big fat thing here is a uh, mocha. Um, the name comes obviously derpty derp from coffee, but it's like, well, she's got kind of copper in her color. Maybe I'll call her copper after my grandmother's horse. Hello. Oh, you got such a pretty face. Oh, hello, dear. Hello, darling. <laughs> no, no, you leave the cable alone. Thank you. Jeepers, she's got big horns for a goat her size. But anyway, um, at least I'm glad that Mocha's been coming, turning the corner and being a little more social with me, which is nice, because when she first came, she was not that crazy to be petted. Even now, even now, she's not that fond of it, but she's, she's curious. She likes to come by and say hello. But anyway, um, we decided tr to try, um, uh, I tried copper, it didn't seem to fit. My sister said, well, she's kind of sticky sweet, so why not call her something like coffee cake? So it's just, well, we'll try coffee. Then my dad says Mocha, because my dad had a heifer named Mocha. So it's just, oh, okay, if it floats your goat, we'll go with it. And even funnier is because um, if any of you watch the internet show uh, Molang and Pew Pew, the way they say sorry is, ooh, sorry, Mocha. <laughs> I said that to her one time because I think I, I bumped into her, so it really stuck then. Ooh, sorry, Mocha. <laughs> it's just funny. Mmm, frostbitten ponies. Okay, um, right, the next one over here. We got Tiptoe, we got Dusty. This big one here, this is Millie. Now, she's, she's a very adore, a very, very sweet, tender goat. Has one of the nicest, sweetest personalities right next to Dot, because she was one of the, the two who followed me around at uh, their old farm when we were choosing to get them. Anyway, she's um, she's a 2015 goat as well. Anyway, they they found something really tasty to nibble, but uh, um, she is the one of two candidates for a very special honor in our family, which is the bell. Now, what's the bell? Well, first, I need to go back to Dot. Now, um, the reason Dot has the name Dot is she's named semi in honor of my pet goat from when I was about five years old. Uh, pictures will be included. Now, Spot, my pet goat from when I was a kid, was, she was a Nubian, Alpine, kind of cross sort of goat. I mean, my brother, my oldest brother's like, she must have been like 50 different goats all at once, but she was a very ungoat-like goat in that she had a very, she had a very sweet, gentle personality. She let little kids ride her. Um, she didn't, she was not aggressive with the sheep. Well, I suppose I wouldn't be either if I had my horns whacked off when I was a kid. But anyway, um, my mom, when I first brought them home, she kind of turned and looked at me with this face and it's like, so is anyone going to get the bell? <laughs> it's like, uh, the bell is not something freely given. The bell is something earned because Spot's old bell, we hung on to it after she died like 15 years ago already. So it's kind of a fam uh, family farm heirloom now, and it's got a very special place in the family's hearts. So yeah, and the bell's not something given, it's something that's earned. So whichever goat has the most endearing personality and basically the best overall manners, they get the bell. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to make some modifications to it to make it a safety breakaway bell because they've all got horns. I mean, they're all a pretty mellow bunch of girls. They're not They're not really mean with each other. I mean, they, they push the boundaries now and then, but by and large, they're all pretty peaceful with each other. Goodness, you're a fuzzy goat. Girl, are you pregnant or just really fat? Probably just really fat. Mm, itchy. Somewhere itchy. Anyway, back to Dot. Um... I basically decided to go with dot because it's like, well, what's a small spot? A dot. Um, her story, I'm going to post as a Facebook story. I mean, I'm going to post photographs of everybody for Diary of a Goat Lass's Facebook so you guys can see in a little better detail everybody and get better bios because, I mean, I can only talk so long without needing to eat some snow or something because <laughs> my throat gets dry. Anyway, um... Uh, I kind of think that's about everything. Hello there, Billy boy. You got such a pretty face yourself, hmm? So you gonna come on over for some cuddles? Maybe. 
I think about it. No. My back itches. Well, that's fine. Oh, anyway, yeah, I think that's everybody. Dot, Billy Boy, BB, Mocha, Cece. Oh, there is one I forgot, actually. Uh, Bella. Bella is the herd queen, and she's right here. She's the biggest nanny out of everybody here. She's the only nanny who had kids previously. 36B. She's a 2014 nanny. She was bred in 2015. Uh, it's 2016 now, so she had kids last year. Anyway, um, the only way you tell her apart from everybody else, aside from her absolutely whopping huge size compared to the others, is and her tag, is that she's got the smallest headgear out of everybody here for her size. She's just got these gentle, these gentle C's on her head. The only other way is she's got a really, really wide blaze on her face. Hmm? Oh, come on, don't be shy for the camera. And I tell you, I'm going to eat that camera. Oh, girl, you're so funny. Yeah, she's, she's not too keen on being petted either. There we go, there's that pretty face. She's the kind of goat that I would take to show. She's got a really nice confirmation for a commercial goat. A real pretty face, she's got nice horns, she's got good ears. Really nice feet. And anyway, I think that's the walkthrough for now. So, um, this is Anna Maria here with Diary of a Goat Lass saying later taters and God bless and Merry Christmas. Stupid gloves. Let's try that again. <laughs>